Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moin, wie geht es? So, has this ever happened to you? Someone like a colleague at work or a parent at school or someone at the sports club or even at the party says, Salut, wie geht es? And you answer, gut an, um, um, and then... So what should you reply back when someone asks you, wie geht it? So should you answer, gut an du? This is one of the most frequent mistakes made not only by beginners, but also by many advanced learners. So in this episode, you are going to learn how to correctly reply back to, wie geht it? In a formal, but also in an informal situation. But first, I'm going to explain why we ask Vegedet dir or Vegedet irsch in Luxembourgish, and I will give you different forms to answer to this question. But before we start, I just wanted to share with you the following. If you would like to learn with us and get results within a few months, then reach out and schedule a free consultation call so that we can help you to organize your learning journey so that you ultimately reach your goal. How does that sound? So you will find the link to schedule this free consultation call in the show notes. So let's get started. Bas du prat? Ja? Good. So, in the expression, we geht it, the verb is goen, goen to go, and it is used in an impersonal way. Literally, this is how goes it. We geht it, meaning how goes it. Indeed, there is no subject at all. There is just the word it, occupying the position of the subject. And in Luxembourgish, we have many expressions with no real subject, having instead the word or pronoun it. This is why the verb is in the third person singular always and never in the plural. Let's have some examples. For example, when we talk about the weather, that's tvierda in Luxembourgish. For example, to say it's raining, you would say it rained. It rained or it is snowing. It schneit, it schneit, or it's windy, it does lüftisch, it does lüftisch. So it's the same in English, you use the it. Let's have other examples, for example, when we talk about temperature or feelings. If you want to say it is warm, you would say in Luxembourgish, it as warm. Das warm, or more naturally, das warm. Now, how would you say it is cold? Easy. Hopefully, you've said das kahl, or more natural, das kahl. However, if you want to say I am cold, so not it's cold, but I am cold, then the person, so um, ösch, is then in the dative case, and ösch is a mir in the dative case. So to say I'm cold, you would say et as mir kahl, et as mir kahl. So as you can see, the subject is et, and mir is the object, so literally to me, so it is warm to me, okay, but it's how we um, how we speak. How would you say then, um, I am hot, no, I am hot, mm -hmm. hopefully you've said, it does mir warm, it does mir warm, perfect. 
At the beginning of this episode, I asked just, wie geht it? So, how are you? But when do you say, wie geht it dir? Well, if you want to be more personal or sound more polite, you can add dir in your question. Wie geht it dir? But only in an informal situation. So, when you are with friends, with relatives or at work with colleagues. Now I hear you asking, but why only in an informal situation? Well, wie geht it dir, dir, here is the dative form of du, so you, you in a second person singular, okay? So, and we use this then in an informal situation. Let's have a look at the correct answers to the question, wie geht it dir? So first you can say just gut an dir, hm? gut an dir. And now maybe you understand that you cannot say gut an du because grammatically this is wrong. Okay, just remember it is like this, it will never change. So you can answer gut an dir or you can say et geht an bei dir. Hm? Look, et geht means uh, I'm fine. And then you can also say an bei dir, meaning the same an an dir. Or you will native speaker here uh, answering gut a salva. Now, these three answers are regularly used by a native speaker. So either you say gut an dir or gut a bei dir or gut a salva, all meaning the same. Or if you want to be more personal, you can say, for example, mir geht es ganz gut haut an dir. What does that mean? Mir geht es ganz gut haut an dir. So this means... I'm feeling very good today and you. Okay, let's repeat it. Mir geht es ganz gut haut an dir. Or you will also hear some native speakers just saying, and it's very simple, Es geht an dir. Es geht an dir. So, it geht is the short form of et geht. So, et geht, I'm fine. Okay. But you will also hear some native speakers, especially at the, at the office, um, answering, ja, et muss. Ja, et muss, in the sense of, yes, it has to go, in the, I have to be fine. Literally, this means, yes, uh, it has to. I would like as well to mention that sometimes at social gatherings or at the office, you will hear people simply saying an, or this is more a question, an, an meaning and. But if you hear someone uh, which uh, you meet in the morning at the office and he just says an, this means an, wie geht it? So and, how are you? They just drop the wie geht it. Okay, but don't worry if this sounds a little bit confusing. If you hear this, or if someone is asking you, maybe maybe in the morning, uh, an, you can just reply by saying gut am salva. So here the most appropriate an answer would be gut a salva. Just try to remember this. Huh? Um, you're good a salva. Great. So now we have seen when you ask uh, someone, wie geht it dir? And how to answer to this uh, question. And when do you say, wie geht it irsch? Wie geht it irsch? Well, if you do not know the other person well, or if it is a person whom you should address respect, for example, a person who is older than you, or a person who has a higher position or a position of power, for example, then the correct answer is gut an irsch. So irsch is the dative form of dir, so you, the second person plural um, of you, okay? So, gut an irsch. Or you can say, ganz gut, merci an irsch. Let's practice again. So, let's imagine that your neighbor is an elderly woman and you want to show respect, then you would say, wie geht es dir, Madame Weber? And maybe she would answer, jo, ganz gut, merci an irsch. And you can reply back, jo, mir geht es auch ganz gut. 
Okay, so it is as simple as this. In the formal setting, the idea is just to give a quick positive answer. Even if your dog just died or your child is sick or your smartphone battery just died, a real response, especially with lots of bad things, that's uncomfortable. Basically, that's just what's normal for this type of conversation. It is the Luxembourgish way of being friendly and polite with the people they interact with. It's especially the case in service transactions like with a server at the restaurant, the cashier at the shop, a receptionist, for example. Okay, so remember this. With, if you are in a formal situation, you will hear this Irsch, Wege, that Irsch, and you just say, good, an Irsch, oder ganz gut, merci, an Irsch. Now, this episode was a little bit short, but I just wanted to make this clear, how to answer to the question, Wege, that because I often hear um, my students hesitating or uh, don't know how to answer because they are confused with this dear an Irsch, right? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and you find it useful. Um, it's time to say Adi, bis next Woche.